Good morning, friend. Welcome to this really quick, less than 15 minute energetic yoga flow that I designed for those moments that you roll out of the bed and just wanna hit your mat and then get on with your day. We're gonna do a lot of poses that warm up our spine, that loosen our hamstrings and our hips and just get us ready to tackle the day. So let's jump in and do some yoga. Let's start today's class in a tabletop position Hands and knees, knees stacked under our hips and our wrists stacked underneath our shoulders. With a big inhale, draw your heart forward, tilt your pelvis forward, arching your spine, coming into cow pose. And then as you exhale, draw the chin into your chest, round your spine, press the mat away, coming into cat pose. Inhale back to cow. And then when you're ready, exhaling back to cat. Moving through these poses on your own breath. Being to push away any other thought or worry or to-do list or schedule you have going on today and just commit to connecting each breath to each movement over these next few minutes. That's as simple as it is. Drawing your presence onto your mat, into your breath, into your body, and making yourself available to hear some good news to hear the truth about Jesus, to have some encouragement, to let him remind you who he is and who you are, and to just be for a few minutes. Good. Come back to a neutral spine, and then just begin to circle your hips. Maybe they're small circles, or maybe you really get into them with your shoulders, drawing those hips all the way back down to your heels. Maybe you alternate so your shoulders go one direction, your hips go the other. Just waking up our spines here, stretching through our back and our sides and our hips. There's no one watching you, so as silly as you feel, just move as it feels good. Beautiful. Come back to center. Press your palms into the mat. Stretch your fingertips wide. Spiral those upper arms out so you feel a lift through your armpits and then tuck your toes, begin to gently straighten your knees, lift your hips up and back, coming to downward facing dog. Be so gentle here. I know this is the first one of the day, so you're probably stiff, so pedal those heels, sway your hips. Maybe your legs never make it straight this morning, and that is okay. Breathe into those tight spaces, though, and just really gently begin to warm them up. Good. Look to your hands. Step your feet up to meet them. And with those knees definitely bent, hang here and forward fold. Maybe you sway side to side a little bit, warming up those hips. Let your head and neck just relax here. With an inhale, draw your hands to your shins. Draw your shoulders back. Lift your heart up. Lengthen your spine so that it's halfway lifted. And then exhale, fold forward. We're going to do this two more times. So inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. And exhale, fold forward. Good. Root your feet down. Rise all the way up to standing, draw your arms up overhead, exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, and then as you exhale, just begin to bend back so slightly here. Exhale, come back to center, draw your hands down to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, exhale, gently bend backwards. Inhale, come back to center and draw your hands to your heart. Close your eyes here. And let's just stand in mountain pose and connect with our heart, with our body, with our mat. So draw your hands so they touch your heart. Maybe they touch your lips or forehead. Just make a connection with your body here. Close your eyes and remind yourselves that this is the day the Lord has made. That you are alive on this day, in this moment, for a reason. That God isn't a mistake-making God. That God puts you here right now for very purpose. Isaiah 60 verses 1 through 3 in the message says this, Get out of bed, Jerusalem. Wake up. Put your face in the sunlight. God's bright glory has risen for you. The whole earth is wrapped in darkness. All people sunk in deep darkness. But God rises on you. His sunrise glory breaks over you. Friend, this, this is a banner of truth over our lives today, that we walk in the light, that that warmth, that that beauty, that that 
fullness that you feel when your face meets the sun, that this is what we walk in. Even when everything else is dark around us, even when we might feel like our hearts are covered in darkness, God says that as his children, his sunrise glory breaks over us. So wake up, get out of bed, embrace that truth today. Then begin to open your eyes, stretch your arms up overhead, exhale, fold back forward. Inhale, lift halfway up, exhale, fold forward. Place your hands on the mat, step your feet back, coming into plank pose here. So our shoulders once again are stacked over our wrists, our heels are over the balls of our toes. Good, hugging your elbows into your ribs. Begin to lower your knees down, your chest down, and then your chin down to the mat. Untuck those toes. With a big inhale, rise your heart and shoulders up off the mat, coming into cobra pose. Not a lot of weight in our hands here, but we're just drawing our heart up. Exhale, full back down. Good, press back to child's pose. Hips to our heels, breathing and surrendering here. Root those hands down into the mat. Tuck your toes. Begin to lift your hips. Return to downward facing dog. Maybe your body feels a little bit warmer and a little bit looser. So explore what it feels like in your hamstrings and your calves as you straighten your legs and draw those heels down to the mat. Rooting down through your hands, lift your right leg up. Really pointing those toes, flexing your toes, rolling your ankle here but reaching that right foot as far back as you can. Good, and then be bend your knee and begin to open that right hip up. See if you can stack right hip on top of left hip. Good, and then return it back to center. We're going to do this two more times. Strain your leg, growing long, and then bend that knee, open it up. Good, return to center, straighten that leg one more time. Bend it once more, open up to the side, feeling a stretch all along that side. Good, return to center, hug that knee into your chest and then step it down between your hands, lowering your left knee down onto the mat, coming into a low lunge on the right side. If this hurts your knee, you can grab a blanket or a towel, place it underneath. Good, I want you to take one hand to the front of your pelvis and one hand to your tailbone and draw that tailbone down and your hip points up. This is called lengthening our spine here, so we're growing long from our tailbone all the way to the crown of our head. Place those hands on that right thigh and surrender into this low lunge. You should feel a really juicy stretch along your left hip flexor. Good. And then as you exhale, draw your hands down to the mat. Begin to straighten that right leg. Draw those toes up to your face. Press back to half splits. Come to center, returning to low lunge. This time, hands to your thighs. Draw your heart up, your shoulders back like you were coming into a cow pose with your upper spine. And then as you exhale and straighten that right leg, round your spine like you were coming to cat. Good, inhale back to low lunge, cow spine. And then exhale, straighten that leg, cat spine. Good, return to center, hands to your mat, step your right foot back to meet your left. Lower knees, chest, chin down to the mat. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Inhale here and exhale, let it go. Root your hands down, tuck your toes, straighten them, coming back to downward facing dog. This time let's lift our left leg long behind us. Rolling our ankle here to the right, to the left. Flexing and curling our toes. Good, and then begin to bend that knee. Open that left hip up, stacking it on top of your right hip. See if you can send your gaze underneath that right elbow and maybe see the toes of your left foot. Good, return it to center, straighten it, growing long. And then bend it, open it up again. Return to center one more time. Straighten that leg long behind you, finding length. And then bend it, open it up, finding stretch all along that left side. So good. Come back to center. Bend your knee into your chest and then place that foot down between your hands. Lower your right knee onto the mat. Once again, one hand to your belly, one hand to your low back. Remind yourself, tailbone long, pelvis hip points up. Good, hands to your thigh, surrender into this low lunge here.
Good, hand at fingertips to the mat, straighten that leg, point those toes up to your face, half splits. Can you draw that left pinky toe closer to your face? Can you press down into the mat with that hip? Good, bend into that left knee, come back to a low lunge. Place your hands on your thighs and then let's cow our spine, heart up, tilting our pelvis just a little bit. And then exhale, straighten that leg, round our spine, coming into cat. Inhale, bend to your front knee, return to cow pose in your spine. And exhale, straighten that leg, round your spine, coming into cat. Good, one last time, inhale forward to cow. Exhale, round to cat. Good, return to center, hands to the mat, step your left foot back to meet your right, elbows hugging in, lower your knees and then your chest and then your chin down to the mat. Without putting much weight in your fingertips, lower with the strength of your low back, up into cobra, sorry not lower, lift, good, and then release down to the mat, sink back to child's pose. <sighs> Let it go. Psalm 34, 5 says this, Look, those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. In the message version, it goes like this, Look at him. Give him your warmest smile. Never hide your feelings from him. Begin to crawl yourself up so you're sitting on your heels. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can just come to a regular seated position. Sweep your hands up over your head, bringing your palms to touch, drawing them to your heart. And once again, making that connection either to your sternum, your lips, or your forehead, closing your eyes, relaxing your shoulders down your spine. And let's just take this moment to turn our faces to the sunlight, to give him our warmest smile, to not hide our feelings from him, but invite him into the day. Ask him to shine his light on everything we do, on everywhere we go, on every interaction that we have. I pray today, friend, that you know what it is to walk in the light, that you feel the warmth of his love breaking over you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I will see you back here on your mat soon.